Welcome back, my name is Teresa and I am fresh face. What? I have an awful garbage filthy mouth where sometimes, just sometimes, I tend to use the word fuck as a comma. I don't know why that was so dramatic. But if you're not into that or weird stuff in general, then this is not the place for you, sweetie. Feel free to exit out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I'll remember our time fondly. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am so excited because I get to do a box swap with my legit twin. I know a lot of people are like, you, Mel Thompson twins? Yes, we are, we are. We are twins. We both have misophonia. Just based on that, we are connected in more ways than one. <laughs> Mel and I decided to do a good old box swap, which means I sent her some products that I love that I think that she hasn't tried yet, and I hope that she loves them. And she sent me a bunch of products that she loves that I haven't tried in hopes that I will love them. We're gonna do a good old fashioned get ready with me where I'm just gonna, you know, slap some slop on my face and we're gonna talk about some of the products, gonna talk about my love for Mel Thompson, you know the usual. But in all seriousness, if you do enjoy this video, definitely go check out Mel's video and tell her stuff. Hey girl, hey. Without further ado, let me show you what she sent me. So normally what I would do is I would slam this box on the table, but since it says fragile, I'm not gonna do that. Instead, I'm going to properly open the box and I'm gonna take out the products. And because me and my good friend Mel over here, we have misophonia, I'm not gonna leave in all the crinkling paper sounds because that will destroy me. <laughs> okay, let's see what she sent me. So I unwrapped everything because again, I don't like hearing sound. All right, let's just, let's just, let's just, let's just, let me show you. <laughs> and then you can see why I'm so fucking speechless. So this is uh, Tom Ford. This is the Shade and Illuminate Soft Radiance Foundation in the shade 2.0 Buff. I have never tried this foundation before. The only thing I've ever tried complex. <gasps> You're a beautiful bitch. Oh my God, I feel like I could destroy the world. Okay, I'm so excited. The only thing that I have complexion products besides the bronzer, which I fucking love, is the concealer and the concealer is fucking amazing. I'm not worthy for the contents of this box, y'all, okay? Let's keep it going. So this is the Dior Nude Air Luminizer Glow Attic. And this is the Holographic Sculpting Powder. Ooh. Oh, that's fun. It comes with its own little brush that I'm probably gonna lose. <laughs> I love that. Oh yeah, it's a drug pouch. I don't know why, but I love when high-end stuff comes with these little drug pouches. It makes me so happy. Ooh, that... Ooh, <laughs> that's pretty. I don't know if you could see that, but she's gorgeous, so. Oh my God, we have to kind of swatch it. I love Dior. <gasps> Bitch, oh no. What? Okay, okay, all right, all right, all right, all right, okay. All right, we are going to slut it up today, and I'm excited. I'm super excited, and I already lost the brush. Oh, no, never mind, fashion. <laughs> Come on, bitch, really? <laughs> I'm just like, I feel so like, do you see the overwhelming look on my face? I'm like, these products are too good for this channel. <laughs> Granted, I am bougie, I am, but it gets better. Okay, so the next one is from Chanel. I have two Chanel blushes that I, I am absolutely obsessed with. Oh God, and this color is so pretty. Oh. <laughs> and what color is this? This is an elegance, because I'm elegant. Sorry. <laughs> uh, is this is like a pretty like, oh, it's a beautiful like, light peachy kind of nude. Fuck, bitch. Mel, girl, I don't know. <laughs> I'm afraid to put this on my face. I just want to look at them. Okay, so this is from La Mer and this is The Mist. Do you see how red my face is getting? Do you see that? Do you see that? Yeah, okay, I'm already, <laughs> I'm already like literally my stomach's in my ass right now. What are you gonna fucking do with that? You're creating a monster because now I know I'm not gonna go back. You, uh, okay. <laughs> we have the perfecting primer from La Mer. Let's do it in a Try Guys style way. Oh, yay, 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 yay. I never got to try this and I always wanted to try this. This is from Christian Audette, the Mel Thompson Kitten Lip Liner. Ooh. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I remember when these came out and I really liked Kitten. I'll be honest, Mel, I didn't want to get the whole set because I was like the only shade I wanted was Kitten. But I remember it came in a pack of three, sorry. But I have it now and I'm super excited about <laughs> it. Oh, yay. Oh my God, okay. So <laughs> we have another Christian Audette lip liner and this is the other shade and Mel's collab and it's Smooches. 
The next product is from Benefit, and this is the 24 hour brow setter. Ooh. Oh shit, bitch got me a brush. <laughs> Linda Halberg, what kind of brush is this? Oh, that's nice. Ooh, that's fun. This is an all over brush. Tools for face and eye. I feel like for me, this will be like a highlighter brush for sure. But also like a powder brush, but also a highlighter brush, whatever. We love it. Milk makeup. And this is their black eyeliner? Yes. Ooh, I have always heard good things about Milk Makeup's eyeliners. I have never tried them, so super fucking excited to try this one. Ooh, are we gonna tight line my eyes like I did all through high school? Fuck yes, okay. Although high school me would be shitting my pants right now. Actually, high school me would be like, what is Lemur? <laughs> <sighs> Bitch got me Sicily. So this is the, I don't even know how to pronounce this. This is a loose face powder with hibiscus flower extract or the Phyto Powder Libre. I don't think that was right. Oh bitch, I cannot wait to put this all over my fucking face. <laughs> the only Sicily product I've ever tried was their foundation and it's hands down my favorite foundation. So you basically created a monster, thank you. Oh my God. This product I have tried, and this is the Take Home the Bronze, and this is from The Bomb Cosmetics, and this was actually a really nice bronzer. I decluttered mine a couple of decluttering videos ago because it was old, it didn't really have that much pigmentation left. And then I had these really fun like little um, dinosaur bumps that grew in the pan. <laughs> so I'm super excited to fucking have this one. Ooh, bitch. Natasha Denona. I need a nude. Ooh, in the shade. Michelle. Oh, this is pretty. I've been wanting to try Natasha Denona nude lipsticks for a hot minute now. So it's like you fucking knew that I wanted to be a neutral bitch. Thank you. The next thing is from Tom Ford and this is the Balm Frost. Oh, this is, this is, this is, I feel like such a bitch. Oh my God. Oh, get the fuck out of here. Okay. <laughs> So this is basically just covered in sparkle. I feel like a badass bitch. I wanna put it on my face. I need to put it on my face. We're gonna put it on my face. We're gonna put it on my face, why not? Okay, this is fucking sparkly. Okay, okay, okay. Probably not the best time to do this, but you know what? Yes, I own 51% of the company. Take that back, I only own 49. Okay. <laughs> All right, so I'll have more stuff in the box. <laughs> Oh, God damn it. Okay. Ooh, bitch. Okay, so the next one is from Viseart. And this is the Violet Palette. Ooh, pretty. I have tried some Viseart palettes in the past. And this one, ooh, that's fucking nice. Okay, I'm excited. I have tried some Viseart stuff in the past and I feel like some palettes have been good for me. Some palettes have been eh, not so much. So super excited to try that. Oh, I feel so bad. I feel like I should send this back to her. We have some Becca products. Oh, RIP Becca. Okay, so this one is the Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder. Okay, so we have this guy, which I just had a, a live stream for Patreon. We were literally talking about this product. So that's fucking exciting. Cause I was like, oh, I kinda wanna try it because everybody loved it. And then this is the Anti-Fatigue Eye Primer, which I feel like I had tried this in a boxy charm. So we're gonna give it a whirl again today. I don't think I like this in the boxy charm. But anyway, we're gonna try this again and see how that goes. And um, let's just say I am hashtag overwhelmed. I am overwhelmed. This bitch got me a lot of shit that I feel like I don't even know how to fucking use. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Damn, I feel like a powerful bitch. All right, so uh, first and foremost, uh, this is caused by the contents of the box that Mel sent me. I think I just got so over <laughs> overwhelmed that, um, yeah, yeah, I got so overwhelmed of, uh, 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 that being said, we are just going to try our best now, normally how I do my makeup is I do my brows first <laughs> uh, because one, my brow hairs are uh, non-existent. They're very light. I often look very terrifying, especially when I'm trying to raise my eyebrows because it's the only skin that moves really sexy. So I, <laughs> I went ahead and colored them in. However, Mel sent us this 24 hour brow setter, which, okay, so Benefit, I've never tried this product from Benefit before. I used to fuck around a lot with the Benefit pencils. The reason why I stopped using them is because a lot of them are very warm leaning and there was no traditional taupe shade. So the only thing that I use for my eyebrows is pretty much the Fenty MVP eyebrow pencil. That's the only one I use. Everything else can go fuck itself. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this little, ooh, 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 
Ooh, okay. Fun. We're just gonna, ooh, okay. So I don't, wow, this is goopy. <laughs> I do a little bit of brow gel, but here's the thing. My hair is so um, non-existent <laughs> that like it's not unruly or anything like that. Like they all pretty much stay in the place. I have pretty, I would say pretty decent eyebrows in the sense that it has a good shape and they are not like, you know what I mean? Like they all fall into line, which we love that. The only brow gel that I currently have in my possession that I use, and the only reason why I use it is because I received it in PR, is from Laura Mercier. And you know what? Sometimes it's not bad and I don't mind it, but then sometimes it looks like I have crunchy white bits in it. It's very questionable. <laughs> Cause they look like a specific, I'm not gonna get into it. But anyway, you're all adults here. You could do the math. It doesn't look right. So I kind of stopped using that one because of like how fucking New England clam chowder it looks in my eyebrows. And it looks like it's keeping everything into place. So let me just do the top portion. Make me look like I actually have brow hair. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, you're unruly. Get down, bitch. All right, we like her. We're cool. These are gonna stay on hopefully for 24 hours. Yay. So the next thing I like to do is my eyeshadow only because if I have any sort of fallout, I don't have to worry about adding additional powder here to kind of catch any of it. I have really dry skin, so I try to limit the amount of powder that I put on my skin. So we're gonna jump right into this Fizzy Art palette. I remember seeing this on Trend Mood and I was like, oh, okay. But this is obviously really pretty in person. There's like this really beautiful, bright, kind of fuchsia-y purple shade that I think I need to fuck up all over my face. So we're gonna prime the eyes. I'm gonna go with this guy right here. What I love about Vizzy Art shadows is that there is barely any kick up in pan. So how's everybody doing? I'm doing great. This blend's so fucking nice. Damn, okay. So I'm gonna go in with the darkest shade on that row, just to deepen deepen up that outer corner. All right, so I'm gonna use some NYX Glitter Glue and we're gonna use my Refa brush, blah, blah, blah. First and foremost, I wanna say thank you so much to everybody who has been so fucking nice and kind about my mom uh, being sick. I have some great news, she's home. I know I shared a post a couple of weeks ago or whatever, but I wanted to give an update because a lot of people were curious I'm gonna go in with this beautiful, I don't even know if this fucking Pusha. Pusha. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. All right, sure thing, Teresa, Pusha. Ooh, oh, oh, bitch. Okay, okay. Oh my God, that's so fun. All right. <laughs> my mom finally came out of the hospital, but can I tell you, if you're new here or whatever, my mom got pretty sick and she was rushed to the hospital and uh, due to COVID, and because if you don't know, I live in New York City, Things are just, you know, a little, a little, a little nuts here. You know, we're a little cuckoo. And uh, we have a lot of precautions in place, so you can't really do anything anymore. Definitely New York is not the same. And when my mom was sick, I, of course, much like any child, I don't give a shit. I, I, I will literally tear down places just to go see her, just to make sure she's all right. And, <laughs> and when I found out she was in the hospital, of course I lost my mind more because it was really difficult to go see her. I'm actually gonna go in with this purple shade. Just pop it on the outer corner. Just to give the look a little bit more dimension. Oh, oh, that's fun. <gasps> I found out what hospital she was at. Found out that she finally received a room. She sat in the fucking ER for like a whole day, which that was cool. I'm really happy about that. But she finally got a room and I was able to go see her. Keep in mind, I the last time I have been in Manhattan has been March of 2020. When I went was February. So at this point, it's been almost a whole year, right? So I'm gonna go in the shade next to it. Really beautiful, like silver color. I'm gonna pop that right in the inner corner. Oh, yes. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I fucking love you. Wait, I need to like stop having these sexy moments. So let me just get sexified and then I'll tell you the full thing. Okay, before I even go into my fucking story, first of all, there's barely any fallout. Like, literally nothing. Zilch, zip, nada, nothing. I love how completely simple it is to layer the shimmers on top of each other. That is awesome. I don't have any weird ball texture. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye. We're gonna come back. I'm gonna finish my story about how I went back into Manhattan and how terrifying it is. It took way longer than I expected. <laughs> Again, don't mind this beautiful mess. 
I really like how this came out. I feel like a fierce ass warrior bitch and I love it. We're gonna go in with the Becca. <laughs> R.I.P. Becky, we're gonna do this one. And I believe this is the one that, yeah, the under eye primer. Okay, now I have really dry under eyes. My skin in general is just dry. We're just a dry ass bitch. So I don't know if this is too much or not enough, but it does feel nice. All right, so we have our under eye primer on. Face still half red, we love that. And now we're gonna put on some of this Perfecting Primer from La Mer. Ugh. Okay, I'm super excited. Ooh, oh, this feels nice. Of course it feels nice, it's fucking La Mer. Sometimes I just don't think. Mel, if I really like this, I hate you. I don't even know how much this is, but I feel like I, I hate you already just thinking about it but i also love you it feels really nice it feels very cool to the face it's providing me obviously a lot of hydration where it looks like i just dipped my head into some fucking crisco my skin looks nice and plump we love that and now let's start with the foundation where are you baby oh my god this is heavy duty oh my god bitch okay okay all right i think this might Ooh, she's liquiding okay all right, so this might be a little, this is very, this is warm, but I put a lot on my face right there, but it's fine. Cause we wanna cover that fucking, obviously awkward redness I got when I opened this fucking box. So, all right, let's see. Let's see how this works, boys. Redness who? Are you fucking kidding me right now? Oh my God. So I would say for the most part, I would kind of classify this as like a, definitely a medium coverage. Wow, I look like a psycho. <laughs> I haven't been to Manhattan since March of 2020. And, and I have no idea when I'm going back. At the earliest, June, but I doubt that. I feel like it's going to be maybe the fall, maybe never, I don't know. There are a lot of things up in the air right now. I'm sorry, it's like a, I feel like I'm catfishing right now and I love it. Okay, <laughs> anyway, needless to say, I did not think that I was gonna be going back to Manhattan anytime soon. So of course my mom got sick and she was taken to Manhattan. Doesn't matter, I don't care. We're gonna brave the big bad city and we're gonna make sure that mommy dearest is okay. So the hospital that my mom was staying at, you can only have one visitor. So unfortunately, while Alex did drive me into the city, because you best believe I'm not getting my fucking ass in the subway right now, considering all the fucking horror stories that's been going on in the news lately. <laughs> no, thank you. Because there was only one visitor, unfortunately, Alex drove me there and then had to drop me off. By the way, like, look at me. Who am I? Who is she? I don't know. I'm literally some garbage turned into a fucking royalty. We're gonna go in with this Becca Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder, okay. Okay, I don't know if this is too much or not enough. God damn, that's brightening. What the fuck? I wasn't expecting that. Who, what is this? God damn, who am I? All right, now we're gonna go in with the Sicily powder. I'm just gonna shake it up. <laughs> don't, don't do what I did, don't. Oh, Jesus Christ, okay. This is amazing, like I'm amazed. All right, but now we're gonna go in with some bronzer. First of all, let me tell you, Manhattan is definitely not uh, what I remember it to be. It looks very closed. It looks like apocalypse has happened. The only things that are left, the mole people, some rats, and oddly enough, Dunkin' Donuts. There was practically anything open, or if there was something open, it was kind of really hard to, to see. It just, it was sad. It wasn't the city that I'm used to. So of course, going through Manhattan was like a fucking shock to my system, because I was like, oh my God, everything looks so different. So we get to the hospital, and nothing is ever easy in New York, and there's a huge line. Because of COVID, there are specific rules on how you can kind of enter into the hospital what specific times you can, which totally makes sense because they only want so many people that are in the hospital for fear of COVID. And I, I get that, fucking, I, I completely get that. And I understand that. And I appreciate the proper precautions that they're taking to make sure that people are safe. I forgot how good this fucking bronzer was. 
Before I get to the house, well, I failed to mention, I asked my mom, hey, do you want me to bring any food for you? And she's like, you know, I've been dying for pizza because what they serve in here is like essence of things. So I'm like, what do you mean essence of things? So it's like chicken marsala, but it's like the essence of chicken marsala. It's supposed to be chicken, but it's something else. <laughs> and then it's usually just kind of like mushroom and water. And I'm like, okay, no problem, ma. What do you want? So she wanted pizza. I was like, okay, cool. There's a pizza place not too far from the hospital. I was like, awesome. I'm gonna go. I have two slices of pizza. I have it like in this giant insulated bag. How I'm describing it sounds like I'm a fucking pizza delivery boy. I'm not, I'm not. Um, I basically have like this like insulated cooler bag that I got from Ulta. Like it was like a Neutrogena bag. And so I filled it with like bottles of water and like I had like these two little pieces of pizza and then I had like popcorn because my mom likes popcorn. So of course I'm sitting on this long line and I had this pizza in the bag. I shit you not, I'm online for an hour and 15 minutes okay but before I even get into the fucking building nothing weird was happening it didn't last very long I had a gentleman come up to me <laughs> he was dressed kind of well dressed I would say like he definitely had like a pea coat on he looked like a businessman he really did started going down the line and like asking people individually something so when it got to my turn I was like oh I can't wait to see what this man has to say to me and he says to me miss have you seen my shoes I look at his feet. He had no shoes on. He had no shoes on. I said, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> he went, okay. Can I tell you that I'm loving the shit out of this right now? I love it so much. All right, am I gonna try? No, 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 no. <gasps> Mel got us a brush. There's something magical about Dior highlighters. And I literally was just talking about this on my Patreon live stream about how good the little, the four palettes are, like the Dior backstage palettes for the highlighters. But, oh, bitch. This is, I mean, I'm like fulfilling my alien slut fantasies, yes. So now the whole time there's this dude standing in front of me online and he starts to get off the line and I'm thinking, oh, maybe he's just trying to find a trash can or something. No, he just goes in back of the line and then behind the building. I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to go back there. But anyway, I never saw him again. The whole time I just kept thinking like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I haven't been in New York more than like, at this point, 45 minutes. Are you fucking kidding me? What is this guy? What is this fucking weird kind of Jack Bauer situation am I gonna put myself in? I can't, I fucking can't. So then I finally get into the place and this woman, <laughs> this woman then like, first first thing she says to me, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. And I'm like, hi, hi. Come here, ma'am. So I go over to her and she literally takes a temperature gun and she keeps scanning my head, scanning my head, scanning my head as if I had a fucking barcode and I was in a supermarket. She was like, Ch -ch 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 -ch, and it wasn't reading anything. So then a part of me was like, oh my God, am I dead? <laughs> like that was the first thought I had. I was like, oh no, is this what hell is like waiting on a fucking line? Oh God. So she kept trying to scan me, trying to scan me and she's like hitting the fucking thermometer. Wrist. I'm like, okay. Then I had to hand out my wrist. She's like scanning and scanning and scanning. And then finally she got it and I was obviously normal temperature. Okay, ma'am, I'm gonna need you to stand on that line. So then I go all the way over to like the one side of the lobby and I'm standing there. So I'm standing there for like two minutes. Ma'am, can you come over here? I go back to where I was standing. Okay, okay. I need you to stand on this line. Okay, so then I go to that line. I'm <laughs> standing there. Ma'am? Uh-huh. Can you come over this way? Can you go back on that line? Sure. So I go back on that line. Within two minutes. Ma'am, can you go back to this line? And I literally, I, <laughs> I just turned to her and I said, I don't know, can I go on that line? And she just fucking twisted her neck at me and was like, I could literally, even with the mask on, I could literally tell her expression was, if you question me, bitch, it's over. And I just was like, okay, no, no, no problem, no problem. <laughs> so I go back on the other line. And I'm like, I understand, like, it's a very frustrating process. And I know I was like, just not having it at that point from like standing outside that whole time and having just weirdo creep New York people just around me. And I was like, oh God, okay. So finally, I'm on the right line. <laughs> And now we have to go through like this airport security because not only do they have to make sure that your temperature is good, you also have to sign a waiver form. There's like a lot of fucking things just to go visit the hospital, which again, I'm very appreciative because I wouldn't want any, you know, Joe Blow coming in off the fucking streets. Like that's even scarier, right? So I have to go through this airport security where I had to get wanded, the whole nine yards. It reminded me of high school. Yeah, I, I went to one of those high schools where we had airport security. It was fun. 
Welcome to Queens. So I finally got to the guy who now has to open my bags. Now it just looks funny because I have like all this food on me. So the guy is less like. So uh, what do you got in the box? Pizza. Did you bring enough for everyone? No. Hmm. I see how it is. The next time you come here, you better bring us pizza. Yes, sir. So then I finally get to the front of the line where now you get to fucking check in to let them know why you're there. I spent an hour and 15 minutes through that whole process. But whatever, it was worth every fucking second of it just to see my mom. So what was really funny <laughs> is right before I was gonna get called, some lady just jumped the fucking line and like went over to the guy that I was supposed to see, I guess, to check in. And my guy was not having it, thank God. So he like refused to talk to her. So she was just standing here being like, Hi. You know, so and so, can I please get a badge? And he was just like, I don't know you. I don't know you. You're not online. You're not online. And the lady was just like, Well, please, like, I didn't know I had to go online. Which is such fucking bullshit, by the way. There was a huge fucking line, bitch. You just didn't want to fucking stand on it, but whatever. So finally, he like kind of calls me over, and the lady's like talking. He's just like, No, ma'am, what's your name? It's like, This is the best hospital in the whole world. I love it. Okay. So, what am I gonna do with the rest of my fucking face? Let's put on some eyeliner. We're gonna go with the milk one. Now, here's the deal. I don't really use this kind of liner to do on the top. Can I do it on the top one? All right, so what I did pretty much with the eyeliner is I just used a small brush very carefully. I, I kind of didn't want to tight line my eyes only because it makes my eye look so fucking small. Before I put mascara on, I'm going to just put a little color or something. I need, I need a little something in the lower lash line. I know this is kind of cheating, but whatever. <laughs> We're gonna use, uh, actually, uh, this is what I gave her. The shade Hurts from Lethal Cosmetics. A little bit of color, something different. Kind of an ordeal to go see my mom. But when I got upstairs, it was awesome. Had so much fucking fun with her. Well, you know, as much fun as you can have and not crying hysterically when seeing your mom in a hospital. You know, the use. <laughs> She was in good spirits and unfortunately she was there for almost a week when we finally got the okay that we could take her home to avoid having to go back into the hospital and everything like that i just called her to let her know like hey we're outside come outside whenever you can so we're like waiting for my mom outside and i'm like it's a beautiful day out in manhattan so just lovely like i'm in such a great mood because my mom gets to come home and of course i'm gonna go in with this plum shade at the bottom and i'm like it's such a great fucking mood and everything is great nobody's bothering me of course, that all, that all stops. This lady comes up to me in a wheelchair. She says to me, Excuse me, miss, miss. I'm like, hi. Do you know where the clinic is? I said, no, I'm sorry, I don't, I don't work here. What the fuck do you know? Obviously nothing, have a great day, bye. She literally rolled away just muttering like, Ugh, stupid bitch, and I'm like, You know what's so funny? Not being in Manhattan for almost a year. It's good to know that having a couple of days back there, obviously things, while they may look different, have not changed. Hmm. I miss getting yelled at in the subway. But yeah, I just wanna say thank you so much for everybody that reached out to me about my mom and it really means so much to me and now she's home and everybody's happy. And um, yeah, so that was fun fun little thing <laughs> that happened. All right, I'm just trying to take off this fucking crystal lip balm. That's ridiculous, that thing. It's really cool, I'm not gonna lie, but it's fucking ridiculous. We're gonna go in with the shade Kitten. Oh. Oh, that's nice. Oh my God, why are we fucking related, Mel? Like seriously, like this is, I love this. <laughs> I love this shade so much. It kind of reminds me of my Margaret Candle's Lame Gucci lipstick, except, you know, not so scary. <laughs> that one I feel like is really fucking scary nude. This one I could get away with, but I don't know if the eye look necessarily goes with it, but I definitely think putting that brown in the lower lash line I feel like is helping it. So kudos for me for thinking about that. Um, I am fucking obsessed with this. Oh, actually, last but not least, let's try this. What? Okay. <laughs> Ridiculous. I love it. All right. Glad I did that because that literally bukkake me right in my arm. Okay. 
I didn't even go anywhere. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just got so excited. And I just jumped myself in so much liquid. Hold, please. Okay, so this is the final look. First of all, I want to say that Mel Thompson's making me a monster. <laughs> Mel Thompson has turned me into a motherfucking monster. So let's break it down by product really quickly. I love everything. <laughs> I love everything. Fuck. I fuck it. Come on, man. I just, mm. okay. Okay. All right. Foundation. Listen, 10 out of 10. Fuck me up all day. Where have you been all my life, beach? I love you. I love you. I've only worn this once. I don't give a shit. You're coming in the casket with me, bitch. We love her. The La Mer primer. Touch a who? I, I don't know where you are, BB. Fuck, fuck me up. The Sicily powder, it's so nice. It's fucking nice. It's fucking really nice. Does it hold a candle to my Chantecaille blurring powder? No, I still like that one better. But, I know, I know. But I really, 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 really like this a lot. Like I like this a lot, a lot. I don't know, actually, no, I like the Chantecaille a little bit more. This is fucking phenomenal though. I love this. Hate that I'm gonna have to fucking repurchase this. I hate, I, I hate, I hate it. I hate it. Chanel blush. Listen, yo, Chanel. This is the third blush that I own from Chanel. Fabulous, fucking fabulous. Every goddamn time. This color is so perfect for uncooked chicken. I'm obsessed, I'm in love. This is amazing. This is fucking everything. The Dior highlighter. Meat sweats for days, bitch. We love that. I love looking like I have food poisoning. I forgot how good this was. This is so fucking good. Oh my God, Oscar, take home the bronze. Oh, it's so good. Cool tone bronzer for sure. But I, I, just, I love it. I absolutely fucking love it. Viseart. I, like I said, I feel like I've gone through stages where I have some Viseart palettes and I have never been like super amazed about this. Like this is great. And it's so funny too, cause like purples are really difficult to make, but this was just so much fucking fun to do. And it was so easy and effortless. The shadows do the work for you. And I love that there's literally no fallout on my face. Like I could have did my base first and then just did this. So now I want to pay attention a lot more now <laughs> to Viseart cause fuck man, this shit's good, bitch. All right, we love that one. The Milk Makeup Eyeliner, this is really nice. I put it on the top line. It worked really well with a little tiny brush. First time I ever tried doing that. So I don't know what prompted me to really do it. But in any case, <laughs> I'm glad that I did. I'm glad that I tried something new and it didn't burn me. So we love that. This was really good. I love this. I love this. I, I don't even care. Like I literally could be water. Like I'm fine with it. This this was a lot of fun. This sprayer is a little aggressive though. Definitely a little bukkake moment, but I'm okay with that. That's fine. The lipstick, the Natasha Jonah lipstick was perfect. The Christian Audette lip liner. I only tried the one, uh, but the kitten one, the color on the kitten one, honestly, I would have been totally fine just leaving it as a lip liner and putting some gloss on. I would have been good to go. Uh, but adding the lipstick and then kind of using a brush just to kind of mix the two made it like a very beautiful color. And I really, really love this. I can't wait to try the other one. I've never tried anything from Christian Audette. So this was really, really nice to try. So thank you. I fucking love it. And what was the other things? This was the most fucking ridiculous thing ever, but I low-key love it. This is a crystallized lip balm that makes me feel like a fierce ass fucking bitch. Cannot wait when I go back to work, carry this shit on, and I can look at my coworkers with such disdain as they stare at my sparkly, sparkly lips. I'm super excited about that. <laughs> and I honestly have to say, which I'm actually kind of sad about now, is that the two Becca products, the Under Eye Brightening Setting Powder, I need to go see if I can find any more of this. I've never had an under eye setting powder that was this bright and that didn't dry out my under eye area or create any sort of weird texture or anything like that. Like this, this was perfect for actually setting my under eyes. I normally use a Chantecaille powder. I actually like this better for setting the under eye area. And it makes me sad that this doesn't fucking exist anymore. This is actually better than I expected. I guess maybe at the time when I was using it literally two years ago, I just maybe didn't 
didn't really understand the concept of it but I think kind of just massaging it into place and I use quite a bit of it actually I felt like it did provide a little bit more of a, kind of like a stickier hydrating base this was nice it didn't interfere anything with the concealer I didn't notice the concealer settling into the lines or anything plus I mean this Koki concealer is fucking amazing anyway so I picked that one because I knew it wasn't going to settle into fine lines but maybe I need to try this with other concealers but uh overall everything was fucking exceeded my expectations and then some I'm trying to think make sure I didn't forget anything no everything was fucking fabulous I just want to say first of all I I love Mel I love her to fucking pieces she is so awesome I'm so glad that I got to meet her on this very weird weird platform and I have to thank Tara Lynn <laughs> to thank Tara Lynn for that because she was like you know you guys are like you're like the same like you guys would get along and I'm like oh awesome and look me and Mel are obviously fucking sisters <laughs> anyway please definitely go check out Mel's video and tell her I said hey girl hey and I really hope that she liked my stuff I hope so if not I fucking love all of this <laughs> I win <laughs> love it <laughs> Anyway, on that note, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Patreon, to all my beautiful, wonderful patron bubbies. Thank you so much for keeping this disgusting, filthy, trashy, garbage boat afloat. I couldn't do without you. I love your adorable little delicious cinnamon roll faces, and I cannot wait to gobble you all up. If you want to know the products that are on my face, along with where to find my podcast and my merch, everything will be listed in the description box below. And I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye beauties.